told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching full take i was using the rice droid and i was preparing to test its battery life but suddenly we got another popular android 13 based rom called as evolution x yes the evolution of android 13 roms has began in the form of evolution x we got the early build of this android 13 based evolution x and surprisingly it has all the major customizations available with the almost stable performance of the rom so today in this video we'll try to check what's new in this android 13 based rom what's working which new customization features they included in the rom performance stability and the bugs i didn't show the flashing process this time so please watch the right side i card video for the quick flashing now without further ado let's get started on the new adventure We done the clean flash after completing the setup we booted to the pixel launcher the speciality of this rom it is purely android 13 based rom with the full pixel features and some additional stuffs without any bloatwares let's check out the about phone here you can see the big and the beautiful evolution x name at the top of the settings android version is 13 so the last time i made the mistake to check new easter egg of android 13 we need to dial this to the one and we guess this new easter egg Evolution X official version is 7 Eve with their own floating signature icons easter egg. Security patch is of 5th August 2022. Kernel version is Evolution X 4.9.227. Build date with the Proton Clank Toolchain 13. Build maintainer and the amazing developer Anirin please bring back this gem in the game of the ROMs once again. Build date is of 3rd September 2022 and the kernel is enforcing. Now let's check out what's working in the ROM. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, NFC. Bluetooth, GPS, alert slider, auto brightness, fingerprint sensor, all the things are working. The major part is the safety net which is successfully passing along with the CTS profile so we can use any banking apps without issues on this ROM. ROM has unlimited photo backup like pixel devices. ROM has the normal camera application which doesn't have much features. This time they didn't implement the Oxonus camera but it will be available soon. So I installed the Google Cam MGC build. It has all the working features like the night sight, portrait mode for the front and the back camera. For the video recording slow motion is not working but time lapse working good. Panorama and the photosphere mode both are working. 4K recording with the 60fps is not working. Other features like the autofocus, face retouching, video stabilization all the things are available and working well. By using the device info app I checked all the basic stuffs like the fingerprint, vibration, accelerometer. Light sensor, ear proximity, microphone, ear speaker, flashlight, multi-touch display, all the things are working very well without any issues. Other sensors like the light proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope, all are working except the barometer which is not present in our device. Let's check out which customizations are available in this ROM. In the settings who gets the Evolver tab which has all the customization well arranged like the theme, status bar, notification, quick setting, etc. We will see only some new and advanced customizations like under themes who gets the loads of headline icons, signal icons, Wi-Fi icons and icon shapes. One different toggle called as the vivid color is the another setting which brings the pure dark and the vibrant color tone to the whole system. In the status bar setting who gets the new background color toggle which brings the material color background to the status bar clock. Under the miscellaneous settings some advanced and the different features are available like unlocking the higher FS in the games but I don't know it's actually working or not. New screen rendering jitter option is available which shows the jitter value in the millisecond along with the CPU, user interface and RT duration. Except that under the display setting other old customizations are available but as I seen the double tap to wake not work for me in the off screen for the last rise droid I checked that toggle here and it's working in this ROM without issues. In the device extras, I found some different settings that only available for the Cyber and the Evolution X. Like configuration for the alert slider, this is bit slightly very useful feature where we can set different activities for the alert slider instead of default notifications like the flashlight, screen brightness, screen rotation, ringer modes etc. Here you can see I use the alert slider as a flashlight control. Again some useful ambient display features like the wake the device when pick up and the pocket modes are available. 
ROM has the display panel modes which has natural AMOLED white color gamut, sRGB, DCPI3. I personally prefer white color gamut which gives the vibrant color to the display. ROM has the KCAL control setting which has the slider to change the red, green and the blue color, view and the saturation control for the display. Here we also get the DC dimming, high brightness, lux control, FPS overlay. All these features are similar to the OnePlus setting option which is found in the all the ROMs created by the developer Optimus Prime. The one bug of the touch screen gesture we found in the Rise Droid is not found here. Off screen gestures are working without the issues. As I stated here the flashlight for the circle gesture and it's working flawlessly. One of the unique and the important feature here added in this ROM is the microphone and earpiece speaker gain. Both of these settings will help you to get the clear and loud sound when you are using the calls. Some people still complaining about the sound issues on the WhatsApp or the Telegram. They can use these settings to solve these issues. USB 2.0 fast charging is supported in this ROM. By using this toggle, we can do the fast charging even if your device is connected to the laptop or the power bank which has the USB 2.0 ports. In the system setting, we get the OT update option which helps to give you the notification and direct install option for any new updates without the use of TWRP for updating the ROM for the new versions. All the picture gesture features are working like the playback control, press and hold power button, quickly open camera etc are available in the ROM and working very well. In this way we have seen, though the ROM is in initial stages, it has almost all the basic and some unique customizations embedded in the ROM. Now it's time to check the performance of the new build. In general users I failed ROM is really snappy and fluid with the every touch because of this new base of Android 13 which is really impressive in RAM management, running background application and system fluidity etc. When I checked the Geekbench test I got the score of 485 for the single core and 1952 for the multi core which is pretty good score while on the OpenGL drivers I got the higher score ever I seen and it's 2300. On the Vulkan Graphics API, I got the score of 2020, which is also very high as compared to the average results at the Geekbench. So it seems that in the real world and in the world of the numbers, ROM is performing very good. Now the main question arises, what are the bugs? As usual, hey Google seems not working until now for me even on this ROM. But most of the people still not facing such issues, maybe it's my device specific issue. Along with that issue, it's causing the media playback lag in my device. The only root method given in iCard solving this issue for me, so if you are facing such problem, then follow the video given in iCard. Except that no other bugs I have seen until now. If you want to check all the Android 13 features like the new power location in the quick setting panel, new background application option, new media cover art in the quick setting panel, new copy paste menu, etc. are discussed in the detail in the iCard video. You can watch that full video. So this is all about the new and the initial Android 13 based build of Evolution X and I think it's totally stable to use as a daily driver though it's not funky like the Rise Droid but it's clean and full of stable useful features. Battery life is not tested yet but this time I will definitely first run this ROM for a few days and report back to you. I always try to give you the battery test result for the all the ROMs I tested but immediately some new ROM comes and I can't able to give the results. But this time I will definitely report back to you. This is all for today. If you think I help you to choose the best custom ROM for the OnePlus 6 and 60, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.